Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks and I was just playing around today. After I made that video yesterday about making that crescent, I started thinking that you could make a pretty good design and I thought I'd show you a couple of tools that you could use. So we're gonna use the three point curve just like we did yesterday. I'm gonna draw a flat line, then I'm gonna hold down the control button and I can make my arc uh, perfect. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use the artistic media tool, but this time I'm gonna use this one um, that has a flat side. And if you ever click on that and it doesn't do anything, all you have to do is just change the, the, the thickness of it. And then I always like to take it and immediately get rid of the artistic media line so I'm going to left click, right click, and then go to object and break the artistic media apart. And there's that line I was talking about. And you can delete it. So now what we can do is control D and make a duplicate and mirror it up and down. And you get that shape. Now we want a point here. So we can do one of two things. The easiest thing is to just cut out those two lines and go ahead and cut out, you could weld it, but then you're gonna get rid of some of those lines and then use a smart fill tool and you've got kind of like a, almost like a religious fish. So we're gonna get rid of that. And because this is on a perfect angle, uh, perpendicular to the page, we're gonna take our four point cross and move it to right there. I didn't quite get it. So if you get the pick tool and click on that corner where you get that point, you can have it get right in the middle. Now we're gonna control, but instead of control D, we're gonna go to edit and clone it. And then we're gonna move the clone 22 and a half degrees. Whoop, I didn't change the rotation. So change your rotation of that node and rotate it 22.5 degrees. And then control D around. But what's nice about this, if you don't like that design, this is our clone so we can change it. We can uh, maybe take this node out here and see what it did. I wouldn't want to do that. I want to grab this one and look what you did. So now let's take those two nodes and delete them. So this time we're going to have a round part on that. Not particularly anything I love, but uh, let me get this out of the way and then take the whole thing and see it won't let you weld. So you got to go to object and break the 16 objects apart and then you open the weld tool and now you've got a pretty neat design that you could change in any form or fashion. Let's just go back here a couple steps and since that's still the clone and we deleted these two nodes, now we can do a lot with this. We could shape this one out, click on this one, shape it out. You could actually even make it into a, a heart type shape, I guess, you know, if you, if you went a little further. And of course you'd want to make that equal. And there's a couple ways you could make it equal, but we're not going to worry about it right now. Need to do a little bit more. So the same thing we need to, let me just delete that. We need to select it all, won't let us weld. So let's go to object, break the 16 objects apart and then weld it. And you've got a really unique design there. Anyway, just playing around. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.